Oh. Oh, man. Got his cheek open with the handcuffs. God damn, dude. All right, what's up, everybody? We are on episode 10 of Moving. So I myself just came off of watching episode 9. I have a lot of questions still right now. And I feel like that's actually something that this show constantly does, is that it presents you answers on one hand, but then gives you several new questions in return for every answer that you get. And so... Um, I don't know, I just kind of feel like, well, there's clearly sort of a bigger game that's being played here by this organization, uh, you know, that we're working for. And I forget what the name of the organization is right now on the spot. It was AN, ANFS is what it's called, actually. Um, obviously being led by this guy, Mr. Min, right? Who, like, I was always sort of questioning what his intentions are. And even in the in the previous episode, it seems like any time that there was sort of peace, for example, peace treaties or peace talks happening between North and South Korea, he seemed to be upset about it or something, right? And of course, we know that he was working uh, together with America as well at times. And then, you know, at the same time, had his conflicts with them again. I mean, this whole thing is basically a massive geopolitical, uh, yeah, like intrigue that's playing out in front of our eyes. And it's, it's hard to make... I feel a lot of sense of it right now just because um again it's like the game that he's playing here with his own employees is a very interesting one because it's not like he does not trust for example as far as I'm aware right if I'm interpreting it correctly it's not like he does not trust um uh Bong Shok's mom and dad you know who of course he had his uh Bong Shok's you know mom spy on the dad at first and then they fell in love and, and stuff right and we basically found out in the episode that was the plan all along guess what he did this because he was not sure about either of the two uh, well actually it was multiple reasons right but he had basically figured that like the mom had spared those people purposefully so in that previous mission back in china or whatever i think it was right and then it was the dad as well though sick who uh, actually allowed it to happen basically felt the same way about it and so he described the both of them i think kind of as like humanists or whatever you want to call it basically they got too emotional and they allowed people to live that shouldn't have lived according to well mr min at least right and we've of course i mean i, I even talked about that one guy sangu i think it was called or something who was completely ruthless and stuff and it, it became clear that like you need those kinds of people for the, the types of missions that they were executing on but so it's fascinating because, of course, Do Sick is uh, clearly one of their biggest assets simultaneously. He's the one who's got the flying powers and stuff. And I don't know how many people they actually have with these abilities. The mom has, of course, the, uh, the, 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 the sixth sense or whatever you want to call it, or basically just the, the five senses, but the very strong ones at that, I guess you could say. Um, so, yeah, how many people with assets do they have? What exactly was uh those sick like intended to be used for it's mentioned now how like kim il sung right uh who i think that's the dad of kim jong-un right or am i wrong about that is the granddad i'm not i'm not entirely sure because this is taking place in 1994 i forget exactly because i don't think kim jong-un really came to power and like that long ago right pretty recently rather so maybe there's still another one in between there sorry guys i don't have the best uh knowledge when it comes to this clearly but anyway so Kim Il-sung died, and I don't know if they were implying that like Do-sik had something to do with it or not. Um, at least he was in North Korea at the time that it happened. And maybe it was sort of part of their mission, but it wasn't supposed to have happened that he died or something like that, right? But essentially they, they needed to give uh, uh, Bong Shok's dad a reason, you know, to want to go back, I guess, so they could bust him. Uh, and that's exactly what happened. He went back to return to Meiyun. Uh, yeah, and, and that's who they were looking out for. And they managed to actually, yeah, I don't know, like, like get him, at least get those sick for now. Uh, well, I don't know about arrested, but at least get him back and interrogate him and stuff, right? And we're going to see where that all leads from here. But like I said, it's a massive political intrigue right now going on. Very hard to tell what direction it's all headed in. But um, nonetheless, I'm super excited to see where we go from here. So guys, without further ado, we're just going to dive into the episode at hand. Of course, if you enjoy my reactions to moving, 
you can get early access to the next episode straight away over on my Patreon page, which is going to be linked on top of the description. Over there, we'll have at least the next four episodes, if not even more than that, available already for you to check out right now. So make sure you go ahead and do so. Your support is very much appreciated and allows me to make these videos in the first place. So keep that in mind. And then for now, let's dive into this new episode of Moving. 1990 Olson. I don't know where Olson is. Is it Chinese or is it... Is that Chinese though? I, I have no idea, man. Actually, maybe it is Korean. Gokping one. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Why Sue's dad? A monstrous here. Why you not what the hell? What the hell was Oisu's dad up to? Is this some kind of secret mission he was on? Oh god. <laughs> he took it like a champ. Way too strong. Oh shit, man. People called me the monster. Are we going to get into his backstory now? I'm excited for that, man. Easily one of my favorite characters so far. Oh shit. Oh. Wow, the way they're doing the episode here. Fantastic. Love it, love it. Huh. Well, he didn't die, but he sure took a beating there. Holy shit, man. Impaled by a bunch of knives. Oh, that's not even a knife. What is that? Katana or something? Business transfer. <laughs> We're trying to take over the club. Sign. <laughs> Look at this guy thinking he looks slick. <laughs> oh man. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he can do that. He can do that for you. I don't know if you want him to do that for you, but he can. Holy shit, man. He's, he's literally cutting it out. Get yeah, What? Is he just going to grow a new one when he does that? Oh, man. <laughs> he stuttered. You heard that? Sutter? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I love this guy's personality. Just the quietness. Very brash, nonetheless. Like, egotistical, clearly. And confident, nonetheless. But not so much now. Signing it with his thumb. Okay. Swab will take that as a signature. Ooh. Damn, man. Who is this guy? His personal assistant? I like a sense of humor already. <laughs> it was cool. Guy's a badass. So this is before he even worked for the organization of Mr. Min, right? Like, he kind of did his own thing, seemingly. He worked, he worked with, I don't know what the, what these guys are, but kind of their own gangster team or something, it seems. Yeah, their own mafia. I love you, boss. Very intimate. I guess that's uh, how you show your respect. Oh, 
Sunfish. Man, something already tells me that his uh, his right hand man here is definitely I don't know, he's probably dying, right? If he if he left him. He could be in for a bad outcome. But it makes sense they were all essentially under his command with him being the one with the superpowers, right? That he led this group. <laughs> He's a very different character at this point, though, than the way we've come to sort of meet him, right? Being that super hot working guy, very modest and yeah. Oh shit, six months later is when we saw him here, passed out. Oh, oh did the guy hit him? Did the guy hit him? With a scar, this th literally this guy here. Yeah. Yeah, we can't have that happening, man. That's a, that's a good thing. Exactly, that's a good thing. Just shush about it. You drank, you made a mistake, so. Exactly. I'll spare you. Technically, you're sparing me too, though. <laughs> yeah, you don't know what you're seeing. You're drunk anyway, my guy. 300,001. So that's only like 300 euros? I looked it up. It is something like along those lines. One to a thousand, one to a thousand five hundred, I think it was. How'd he lose his crew, though? I mean, did he lose his crew? Doesn't have to, but. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Wait, wait. Is this the mom? I couldn't tell that quickly, but. Yeah, we might possibly see him, of course, fall in love on his own now with Hoi Su's mom. Okay, okay, okay. Now he still has the club. It just happened on his own that he got into the accident. Oh, shit. The dude is still around. Seriously? Oh, yeah, I saw, I noticed him. What's he doing here? <laughs> this guy, man, doesn't know how to stop. <laughs> Balls of steel. I don't know what exactly the deal is with his boss. I didn't even realize that Juwon still had a boss. But what does the boss want from the other guy? God, I want to try some of this food, man. I'm sure it's good. Need to try me some Korean food. A merger? Yeah, I was going to say. Yeah, he, he, he's trying to run his own empire, I guess. Juwon is kind of looking at it like You're, you guys are my family, right? Like we're not doing any of this for money or something.
six months later he was staying at this hotel why it's almost like he's already completely living a different life oh shit he noticed the same woman again i guess right yeah <laughs> who pays by the week i mean he's been staying here for a couple months already i think so you might as well just pay by the month right but i guess he hasn't fully decided yet on what kind of life he wants to live or is he still going back into the nightclub <laughs> Damn. Okay, more time flying by. He just spent a bunch of time at the at the club, not really doing anything. Clearly he's sort of growing apart from it, right? Like he doesn't really want to hang around with those guys much anymore. Damn. Well, an opportunity to step up. Yeah, she's clearly an honest, hard worker. Yeah, once again, I am not 100% sure if I recognize her, but I, like, surely she's the same woman that, that, yeah, that basically became his wife and that we saw die in the car crash, right? Like, I do vaguely recall that that's what she looked like, even if it was only basically one scene that we saw quite a while ago. Why is he... Dude, yo, why are you doing this, my guy? Oh, shit, I get it now. He literally does this on purpose to make money to pay for his stay. Wow, just another one of those details that's like you could have never made it up before, but it makes so much sense. Super smart. It's like he's the Korean Saul Goodman. <laughs> With superpowers to make the scams work. What the fuck is this scene? Oh my god, it's a fish. <laughs> what kind of nightmare was he having just now? Being on the water or what was he what was he dreaming of? <laughs> I, I i mean i guess that wasn't purposeful but it might as well have been yeah it's almost like fate meant it to be that way yep yep it sure is i can confirm this right now on the spot <laughs> Old enough to become your husband. <laughs> now you turn him into a rude, a rude man. Good job. Yeah, I don't know how old he's supposed to be at this point. To be fair, he does look kind of like 40, doesn't he? But I feel like he is 40. His actor must be around that age. Because it's the same actor we see later on in the the current years, right? So. Man, he does not like this collaboration. He hates what this group has sort of turned into. The people that they are collaborating with. 
난 분명히 우리 행님으로 아처럼 불러지 말라 했는데. Well, he's going to be your new boss. At least he wants to be. 죄송합니다, 행님. 형님. 행님도 잘해. 행님이라 yep. 부르십니까? Yep. Oh yeah. 야, 들어올라 카모. 나한테 행님 하고 불러 봐라. 그러면 Man, they literally took this place over from this guy and now he took it right back over. 내 행님 듯이 칼마 가면 부항소에 울산을 끝까지 연장도 몇번 되는지 아는 말이다. 씨발. 니는 안 아프잖아, 씨. Yeah. That's actually what I was going to say like. Oh shit, man. Now he called him a monster too. Damn. I guess it's easy from their outside perspective to look at him as like the superhero and to just be like, well, that means you can do these missions for us. But clearly he's sort of indicating that it still has a human toll on him or whatever, right? Like that it's still weighing on him. Bam. Wow. I guess we needed more money. Oh, the guy. Hit and run. Look at that. Head and run. Yep. I mean, honestly, if you are able to keep track of the number plate now, you're going to get even more money out of it. Wow. So hop on. Figure out who it was. <laughs> Fair. I think you won't have much reason to split it anymore in the future, though. <laughs> Actually, I guess, yeah, he figures the other guy is gonna know he faked it anyway. No, I don't think he quite processed your directions at all. <laughs> Watch out, you don't get into an accident now. These two are a very odd couple, but I like it already. They're going to be a couple, surely. I don't know if you want to be walking through all these alleys, though. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, my God. There are several crosses. Are you kidding me? Yeah, I would actually get lost here, too. What the hell is this? Is this what a lot of Korean cities are like? Man, during nighttime, too? I would not feel really great walking through here. <laughs> oh god, I already have a feeling I know what this kind of talk is gonna lead to. This is an intervention right now. This is not the greatest place to even have a talk like this, man. <laughs> this guy. He really is just trying to make the best of the situation, though. God, I, I am genuinely worried that they're, like, already poisoning his drink or something. I don't know, man. Oh, they're feeding him now, too? This can't be good, dude. I don't know. Like, they've seen by now that he's he's not on their side anymore. I mean, I don't think they'd even have reason to do anything like that, though, but... <laughs> Big Boss. <laughs> well, Big Boss is only reserved for a naked snake. Oh. <laughs> Holy shit! Yo, yo, yo! The both of them? 
Oh god, dude. Were they set up by the other guy? Was that is that what just happened? Did the other guy make sure that the drinks were poisoned? Like, you know who I'm talking about. The slick dude. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Yep. Damn, man. They set the both of them up too. It's like they already had the dude in the pocket. But now they're really showing. Yeah, what his own cowardice basically led to. Man. I'm guessing that will kill him, right? If they make him drown, that's gonna kill him. Yeah, there's no way his partner here is uh, making it out of this. Obviously, 2-1 some somehow, like, survived this. The question is how. Man, this is like a modern... I don't even know what you call that, but what pirates used to do, you know? Making somebody jump off the ship on the plank. The plank? Planking. Is that what they call it? I don't know. Damn. Yep. Trying to save him. Trying to get him spared. They don't care about that though. They've already made their mind up. Why? Oh, yeah. Damn, man. Feels betrayed now as well by him. Yeah, that, well, I thought that already. <laughs> to make you drown, to make you drown, he told them. Yep, yep. He was, ah oh man, he was seeming a little suspicious already, man. And he was feeding them the drinks, that's the thing. God damn, man. Wow, he said bring me the peanuts, threw some into the sea. Yeah, bad choice, bad choice. You should have waited to make sure that he actually drowned. Because guess what? He's making it out of here. And this is what he dreamt about. This is when we saw the fish as well. Oh, that makes so much sense. Oh! Oh, smart, dude. He's literally breaking his bones so that he can somehow escape this. Yeah, right. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Escape the cuffs just like that with broken thumbs. You know what? They should have thought about that. Is it going to free him too, though? That's the question. I, I, I guess he will. I guess he has no choice but to let him go, actually. Because he needs to escape. Right? There's no way he can make it out in time while rescuing the other guy, too. Yeah. Damn, man. He had to choose to abandon him. Dude, look how long this is taking. Is he still... Oh my god, is he... Yeah, he's not even getting up, dude. He is long gone, man. Distant bellowing? Here comes the fish. Holy shit, that's a massive fucking fish. What the hell? No, 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 no. We're not gonna have a fish actually rescue us and take us up or something or what? This just turned into Finding Nemo into a Disney movie or whatever. Oh, the cross. What? What is this creative filmmaking right here? The, are you telling me like the fish reminded him of the cross, which reminded him of the girl, which gave him the willpower to still make it up or something? Is that how I'm supposed to interpret it? 
Or am I interpreting it all wrong? If so, that's very clever. I love that. Yeah, he is happy to see her back. I can't find my way. Literally and figuratively. He needs a whole new life direction, that's the thing. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. I always choke. Oh my god. Yo. Holy shit, dude. I was gonna say, was that the guy? Yeah, it was the guy that he killed already. Fucking hell. No, I'm sorry, Minky. You you blew it. You should not have gone up against Juwan. <laughs> we're coming full circle here. Right where we started is where we're ending. <laughs> oh, damn. Yeah, that's... Uh... I'm not in your... You're gonna feel this one. Oh, you're gonna feel this one. Oh... Oh man, got his cheek open with the handcuffs. God damn, dude. Oh, and he left him like that. Interesting. Something to always remember him for. Remember what he did, the mistake that he made. He gave him a joker smile. Oh, wow. Minky is such a useful idiot, man. Jesus Christ. And that's how, that's how, yeah, Mr. Min got to uh, Juwan. Wow, fantastic, man. What an episode. All right, guys, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell. And of course, you can watch the next episodes right now over on my Patreon page, which is going to be linked on top of the description. So go and check it out.